welcome to the People's Health Dispatch, People's Dispatches and uh, People's Health Movement Health Newsletter. Uh, today we are here to discuss uh, a recent leaked decision by the US Supreme Court uh, focusing on the Roe Wade uh, ruling from 1973 uh, and the implications of such uh, a leaked decision on access to abortion in the US. Uh, and today uh, to talk to us is Lee Haynes, who we met last time when we met to discuss what was happening uh, with abortion care in Texas. Hi, Lee, and welcome. Thank you for joining us again. Hi, Anna. Thanks for having me back. And yes, so uh, maybe we can just start with a bit of context. So if you can tell us a bit more about what Roe Wade meant, uh, why, is it, why is it so important and what does it mean for access to abortion? in the U.S.? Yeah, so Roe versus Wade, um, as you said, was a case in the early 1970s that actually um, established the right to have an abortion. It was based on um, the court's reasoning was a right to privacy, the privacy um, that a woman has between she and her healthcare provider and that they can make that decision for her to have an abortion or um, I should say a person to have an abortion if they would like to have one. And so Roe versus Wade, and then there's a follow-up case, um, Planned Parenthood versus Casey, which affirmed Roe versus Wade. Um, so if those cases are overturned, then the right to abortion in the US, um, at least as a constitutional um, grounded right, would go away. Um, Justice Alito's leaked draft majority opinion, um, it says that, you know, uh, the right to abortion should be something decided by the um, the populace, meaning um, at least, you know, per some interpretations that it's something that should be decided, you know, by the people, meaning through legislation. So through the U.S. Congress or at state levels. Okay. So, and what did, what would that mean in practice? So when we say that, um, you know, abortion should be, uh, access to abortion should be regulated through, um, through legislation uh, or it's uh, brought back to state level, uh, what mm -hmm. kind of impact does that have uh, on actual people wanting to access this kind of care? Yeah, so, I mean, I think that what, what I think and what, you know, many experts and analysts are saying is that there would be varied rights to abortion between, in the U.S., how we say red states and blue states, which is, um, you know, more Republican and then more Democratic states. And so... Of course, the right to abortion um, would mostly be gone in those red states, for example, like Texas, where I'm from. And, um, and the most threatening thing is that many states have what is referred to as a trigger ban um, on the books already. So if this decision, um, you know, if this is decision, if this is the decision of the court that comes down um, in June or July when the opinions come out, then these states will immediately, or within 30 days, whatever their law says, um, outlaw abortion in its entirety. So in Texas, where there's the um, about six weeks ban, the heartbeat ban. Um, there would be no abortion. Um, I think Oklahoma may have a similar law. Louisiana might have, have a similar law. Um, and, you know, these are mostly states across the southern um, part of the U.S. And then um, that would leave people to try to go to the blue states to get an abortion. Um, and so there is the kind of ripple effect or the collateral effect on people in blue states who, you know, have their right to abortion protected. But then if there's an influx of folks who are coming from across state lines to get abortions in their states, then there would kind of be this pressure on the health system there. Um, and also something that the, um, I guess I, if I can say anti-abortion states are trying to do is restricting what people can do in other states. So for example, the state of Missouri has a law that um, 
at least it's it's not enforced yet, but it's in the works um, to where if someone goes to another state to get an abortion, then that provider um, might be prosecuted. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of um, threats to different aspects of um, abortion and people being able to get them or not. And if they can get them or give an abortion, then um, yeah, everything is kind of crumbling. Yeah, of course. And I think also something uh, that, um, I, I mean, comes across what you're saying is that, uh, you know, um, even in um, even in the case that uh, the uh, the Supreme Court rule, uh, su su Supreme Court decision turns out to be uh, the one that they bring out, uh, it's actually uh, not going to close off access to abortion for everyone. So the uh, the women who are like rich and women who live in a specific part of the U.S. will probably still have access to uh, to abortion care. Uh, for, from different uh, from different reasons, but on the other hand, if we look at the southern states uh, and people who cannot afford to travel, uh, even so, they would be, I'm guessing, the most impacted by by the, yeah. uh, this kind of ruling. Okay, I just just to add to what you say, um, I one analyst um, is kind of suggesting that in, for example, for people who live in Texas, um, the closest abortions might be a plane ride away. And so like you say, um, you know, if you have to take off work, can't afford a plane ticket, or, you know, don't have a vehicle that can make it, then, um, you know, you'll just be forced to carry a baby or resort to maybe, you know, more dangerous um, ways of getting an abortion. And then there's also the, um, the some women have consulted with, for example, nonprofits to be able to get um, medicine through the mail to be able to um, kind of have a self-managed abortion. So there is also the thinking that maybe more nonprofits, including international nonprofits, um, would be kind of filling in that gap for women, even though the there's still the threat of prosecution for women who would, um, you know, use those services and get the medicine and give them or have their abortion at home. Yes, yes. So, uh, and that's, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting to see that, you know, uh, it's also quite, <clears throat> I would say, uh, so <laughs> basically it's very new news. And we only yeah. heard about this like yesterday or a couple of days ago, and it's uh, it's been covered a lot. So maybe what mm -hmm. I was hoping to learn more from you is, uh, you know, how um, how do you see movements in the U.S. reacting? Uh, mm -hmm. We have seen uh, a number of mobilizations across Latin America over the last few months, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, really fighting for improving access to abortion. So I was wondering if maybe we can expect something like that happening in the U.S., uh, yeah. or a specific take by the health movement, for example? Yeah, I mean, I think, yes, there are already people um, in the health movement in the um, abortion rights, reproductive rights movement at the Supreme Court building, um, protesting that like, decision. And I think that, you know, we'll see um, what we saw earlier this year when the Texas ban came out if that was earlier this year, maybe it was late last year, but, um, but yeah. And I, and what I've been seeing is calls for Roe, for Roe versus Wade to be codified into federal legislation. So for the U S Congress to take action, but that's difficult because of the makeup of the Senate right now and getting enough votes. Um, and then there's also, and I mean, I guess this is a bit of a tangent, but I think it's important. There is also like people are thinking ahead to what other rights Roe falling might affect. And the Roe versus Wade case, the legal reasoning was based on the right to privacy, like I said before. Um, and that same reasoning was used to grant rights to contraception, um, to strike down uh, anti-sodomy laws, which basically outlawed homosexuality. Um, 
and also the right to intermarry, which marrying outside of your race. And so, um, so all of these other rights that, you know, affect people's health are also under threat. So there is a lot of, um, you know, solidarity across different movements to, you know, kind of say that we can't let, you know, Roe fall, um, because then all these other rights might be affected. Thank you so much, Lee. Yeah, thank Uh, you.